Hello, today I'm with Raj Beadle, Managing Director of Gadju UK, who's going to tell us all about what to look for when choosing a coffee machine. I mean, there's so many on the market these days, so why should people opt for a Gadju, and a Gadju Classic in particular? Yeah, I think Gadju Classic in particular, uh, it, it has been around for 33 years now. So a lot of people mm -hmm. know them, and there are a lot of people who have used them over the years, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. And uh, so there's a lot of information available yep. by mm -hmm. users uh, on forums yeah, and such yeah. like. So you can get a lot of information mm -hmm. about it. And these days, reviews are quite important, mm -hmm. I think. But for me, Classic has been kind of, and I have been with Gadget for, as a brand guardian for uh, 33 mm -hmm. years now and Gadja was brought out in uh, 1991 yeah. which means that I have been with Gadja for almost all its life yeah. uh, I mean we had several other machines of course the baby it was mm -hmm. sort of on the same level as the Gadja baby which came in 1947 mm -hmm. Uh, so that is, uh, uh, no, sorry, 1977, I should say. So it's 47 years yeah. old. And the solenoid valve mm -hmm. is quite important on a machine like that uh, so that it controls yeah. the flow of the water through the coffee at the right temperature and at the right uh, pressure. Yeah. So that's quite important. Mm -hmm. It has got something called an OPV for people who are sort of into that. And, you know, that controls the flow yeah, as yeah. well. Uh, so you have got those things on a small machine. Yes. That's quite important. Yeah. What you normally get is, uh, you know, those things are available on big machines. These days you can actually get them on smaller machines and Classic has had it for sort of, you know, that tradition has gone on for 47 years. So we, we know the system quite well. But also I think uh, classic is fairly a straightforward simple machine it has got a boiler mm -hmm. it has got uh, a, a, a steam wand and it's quite a powerful one yeah. so for that price level you're getting a really nice almost like a commercial system in yes. your home yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of the things that people look for uh, for the name as well as for the durability of yeah. it people have used classics for almost uh, people have used classics for almost 33 mm -hmm. years now yeah. and they still love it still love. Uh, there are lots of thousands of people who do that and also the baby as well has been going on for yeah. quite a long time as I said 47 years I have I know people who are still using the 47 year old orange baby yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's the durability of it the other thing is you can actually uh, they haven't changed very much. No. So the tradition has been, and, and it is again, uh, you know, the motto of Gadja, continuously evolving tradition, means that you are using the traditional mm -hmm. uh, uh, things that they have yep. worked on all those 87 years ago, 84, 85, 86 years ago, uh, even now. Yep. For instance, the filter holder is a, like the professional filter yeah. holders, 58 millimeter, yeah. uh, and it has got a heavy filter holder. Yeah. We used to have brass, now we have got stainless steel, uh, but the heat conduction is very good for espresso machines. But uh, more importantly, you could have one of the latest gadget classics. Yeah. Take that and fit it to a 1950s gadget lever machine yeah. and that's how flexible they are yeah. and there are whole industries who actually look for these type of things you know yeah. the tradition continuously evolving but okay. it is very sustainable very much focused on uh, you know changeability you can modify things on these machines very easily so for instance a classic they use PIDs, they use uh, OPV change, OPV valve changes, they can actually eliminate them. They do all sorts of different things to the classic. So it's very well known as a, as a, as a product. Mm -hmm. And that's why people, I think, buy that. Uh, yeah. We don't have to 
sell it really. No, it, no. It's, uh, people are talking about it and they would sell it for us. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you have a you have a classic for a manual and a classic automatic. Do you have two different? Uh, no, classic mm -hmm. is the model that came out in nineteen ninety one. In nineteen ninety nine, Gadget introduced automatic machines. So, it became just a touch of a button. You m make a coffee. Yeah. Uh, the there is a, a removable brewing unit what we call a secret barista inside right. the machine and that does all the things that you would do manually but automatically yeah. so it will tamp it'll grind the beans put it into uh, a container tamp it down at a certain pressure and then brew the coffee infuse infuse right. the coffee and brew the coffee and all that is done with a touch of a button. Yeah. So we have a, a good range of automatic machines now, which does exactly what the manual machine does, mm -hmm. but slightly different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people now use copy capsules, but I think there's quite a few drawbacks to them, and, and the two other things I, I could think of are the price and the environment, really. Yes, I, I think capsules are quite good for consistency mm -hmm. so because you have got coffee say either five and a half grams or we uh, have uh, capsules that fit our machines and they, they can actually have eight grams of coffee mm -hmm. um, and but the important thing is consistency and it produces a good enough coffee but you have no choice but yeah. to use those capsules and that becomes a problem and also the, the plastic in them or the aluminium or whatever it is the packaging is quite difficult to get rid of yes you yes. can get rid of it somehow but it is more difficult and it is expensive yes so you're talking about 30 to 35 pence for a capsule of coffee whereas if you grind your beans or yeah. buy some ground coffee you're probably paying 10 to 15 pence yes. and you have a choice of different beans that you can go and yes. get and try out different beans whereas capsules you are yes. limited to what the manufacturer gives you. Yeah, yeah well 12 to 15 pence a coke that sounds like 1970s prices. <laughs> yes that, that's why you don't realize that within if you drink a few coffees yeah. you know the, the normally the capsule machines are less expensive but you get uh, you pay a lot over the you know a period of time yeah. if you use uh, say if you are drinking yeah. four coffees you're sort of saving a pound if yeah. you use a normal machine so you could yeah. pay for the machine yeah. although the machines are expensive on automatics and yeah. uh, traditional systems uh, you can pay back very quickly yeah absolutely it pays for itself almost yeah but of course the important thing uh, which a lot of companies say that they do but often don't quite make it is customer service and the Gadget customer service is renowned as the best in the world really in the yeah. world. Thank you for pointing that out because I was going to say that and that's another reason for people to buy our machines. Uh, I mean over the years we have concentrated on the service, mm -hmm. after sales service uh, and, and to be a cool brand a brand that is sort of you know uh, considered cool mm -hmm. uh, and, a, and a strong brand needs good customer service so we have tried to do that over the years but more recently we mm -hmm. have found that you know uh, technology is changing yeah. and we could get into you know get to see a machine in your own kitchen yeah. for instance mm -hmm. so we have a zoom platform where we have engineers and yes. we can actually they can anyone can any, anyone from anywhere in the world in fact we get people <laughs> from America from Africa from Asia coming to us to ask about yeah. their machine they may have bought it yeah. in in their own country but they need some yeah. help and we give that free of charge for people yeah. who come on our on our zoom platform yeah. so that has actually transformed customer service for us mm -hmm. the machines coming back to us has changed as well because we used to have you know when we call people and try to diagnose a problem it takes time yeah. but we may miss something yeah. we, by seeing what they are doing and an automatic machines have diagnostics as well so we could actually go into diagnostics and find the problem very quickly yeah. so that is something that 
you know people rely on and when you look at trust pilot or reviews yes. uh, we uh, are quite high up with five stars and such like so so that is a self-generating thing because uh, it, people would see that and uh, that you know the word gets around that you have a good service yeah. we sometimes make mistakes but you know we are trying to do the best if we can uh, and that is instilled amongst all our people yeah. and and you know you will see on the trust pilot not just my name or uh, one of the engineers name everybody gets a mention because yeah. they are all working towards the same aim yeah well those um those trust pilot reviews are absolutely amazing so i would uh, urge people to uh, to have a look yes see for themselves and the people describe just what quality service they've had yes and the fact that it's not just sorting the problem out it's normally sorting the problem out there and then and they're back making a cup of coffee in yes. five minutes and thinking the machine was sometimes thinking the machine's broken and it's yes. not it just needs something like a clean or this a little touch here and a little tweak yes. there and away they go again yes. and they're absolutely thrilled i think uh, the videos on our website also help because we've done a lot of uh, we, we spent a lot of time in the last sort of uh, six seven eight years uh, doing more and more videos and there are others who are experts in this field also do their own videos and we give them uh, you know uh, we refer yeah. Yeah. people to those videos yeah. and that has helped as well uh, and also I think as we go further uh, technology is changing all the time and we can use more and more of the technology to help people yeah. much easier than we yeah. could do before. So there you have it, stylish machines, durable, robust machines and a customer service that's second to none. So thanks very much, Arjun.